thejbeans.net. Half Moon Key is a private island owned by Carnival Corporation that is located in the Bahamas, almost 100 miles southeast of Nassau. Also known as Little San Salvador Island, this private retreat is known for its crescent-shaped beach with white powder sand and turquoise waters. It's a port of call for both Carnival and Holland America cruise ships. Ships anchor offshore at the island, and complimentary double-decker tender boats transport passengers between the cruise ship and the island. On our cruise, the tender ride fit quite a few passengers and took about 15 minutes. After arriving at the tender dock on the island and passing through the arched entrance, you'll enter the Welcome Center Plaza, which features an information and shore excursion desk, a bar, and a first aid station. On the right side or east side of the Welcome Center Plaza, a free tram is available if you want to catch a ride to the complimentary lunch buffet instead of walking. If you travel straight or north from the plaza, you'll find a straw market where locals from neighboring islands sell souvenirs. Be aware that cash is the only accepted form of payment at the straw market. The main attraction, the very popular beach, is on the left side or west side of the island. Beach chairs are free to use and are plentiful. Clamshells, cabanas, two-story beach villas, and even a 1,600-square-foot private oasis cabana can be rented. These additional fee items are popular, so we recommend booking them early as a shore excursion if you're interested. The first access point to the beach is to the left of the Welcome Center's main plaza, beside the information hut. Just follow the signs to Half Moon Beach. This southern part of the beach can be quite popular and become crowded quickly because of its proximity to the tender dock and all the nearby amenities. A splash pad is available for kids and features slides and a pirate ship themed climbing structure. The water in this area is a designated snorkeling area, which is great for snorkeling on your own. The fish are plentiful in this area because Carnival Corporation has submerged artificial reefs to attract fish, and also because cruise passengers frequently feed the fish with cereal they've taken from the ships or with bread from the island barbecue buffet. If you're looking for an area that's a bit less crowded, just walk further along the beach. Even after several tender boats arrived, there were still plenty of beach chairs available during our cruise, just a bit further north. Additionally, as you walk further along the beach, you will find water sports centers, which feature water sports equipment and snorkel gear that you can rent for a fee. If you're looking to have a drink or two, there are a number of waterfront bars along the beach, including the I Wish I Could Stay Here Forever Bar, which features a sign that is a very popular photo spot for visitors. And the Captain Morgan's On the Rocks Bar, which is very easy to find, just look for the giant pirate ship. Also of note in this area, a small church is located just off the beach, a bit north of the Welcome Center. The church is available for anyone who wants to get married or renew their vows. Much further along the beach to the north, you'll come to the island's horse stables. Horseback riding, including riding through the surf, is one of the many excursions offered on the island. Other excursions include swimming with the stingrays, glass bottom boat tours, snorkeling, and water sports. All the fun on Half Moon Key is bound to make you hungry, so head to the complimentary Island Barbecue Lunch when you're ready for some food. Directional signage is posted throughout the island if you want to walk instead of taking the tram from the Welcome Center. On our cruise, the serving times were posted in the ship's daily schedule and at the Welcome Center's information hut. Be aware that the lunch ended promptly at closing time and some of the items, such as ice cream, ran out before closing. 
Because of this, we recommend going to the Island Barbecue when it opens or shortly thereafter. There are quite a few food options to choose from at the Island Barbecue, and there are also several open air dining pavilions, a bathroom, and another bar, the Bell Bar, in the area. If you're interested in seafood for lunch, you could visit the Lobster Shack located near the I Wish I Could Stay Here Forever bar at the beach. The chefs from the ship cook the food, which you can enjoy for an additional fee. Take note that we did see feral chickens both at the barbecue lunch area and the beach, so come prepared with any medications you may need if you're allergic to bird feathers. After you finish lunch, you can catch the complimentary tram just outside the barbecue area if you want to head back to the ship or the welcome center. However, if you would rather walk off a few calories or just enjoy a scenic walk, there's a paved pathway that leads back to the welcome center. Along the way, you'll pass a pirate-themed children's play area, basketball courts, and volleyball courts. When you're ready to call it a day, head to the Tenderboat Dock entrance located directly behind the Welcome Center's information hut. Foot washing stations are available near the entrance of the covered Tenderboat waiting area.